thing, whatever time it is, where you are watching from, I'm just gonna flatten down that crazy bit of hair at the back there. Um, hello, welcome to the Dixie Bell YouTube channel. My name is Connie and I am the owner of Faf Designs. I'm also a Dixie Bell brand ambassador. And every Tuesday, I go live here on the Dixie Bell YouTube channel um, at two o'clock my time, which is UK time, I'm based in the UK and I believe it's quite early in the morning over the pond. Um, but if you are watching the replay, please make sure you say hello to me because I do re revisit the comments um, after the live stream has finished. So I have been doing since the start of the year and I've just, I've literally just had a cup of tea. So if I get the hiccups, please excuse me. Um, since the start of the year, I have been doing a sort of back to basics series. Last week, I didn't go live. Um, if you tuned in to watch me and I wasn't here, apologies for that. I did put it on my social media. Um, but last week, I have basically, for a few months now, I've had intermittent Wi-Fi issues. And the people that supply my internet say that there is no problem. They've sent three engineers out. But let me tell you, there is a problem. There is a problem. Because last night, after the third engineer had been out last week and apparently fixed the issue, uh, last night we were watching TV and I was on my laptop and it's basically when there's more than more than one thing needing the internet, which shouldn't be the case. You should be able to work on a laptop and go and watch the TV at the same time because our TV comes through the Wi-Fi. Basically, I just got the circle of doom on the TV and it just glitched. So my internet providers are liars, basically. Anyway, that's why I wasn't live last week because the engineer was booked at the exact time that I was due to go live. So not only did I miss a live with you guys, I still didn't get my internet fixed, which is absolutely brilliant. But there we go. That's what you get for living, living out in the sticks in, in rural, rural um, UK countryside. Anyway, we move. We're here this week. I've got no engineer booked. You might hear my dogs barking because my other half is due home anytime soon because we've got parents' evening with the kids tonight. So if you hear dogs barking, just pretend you didn't. Um, this week, I am going to talk to you about silk all in one mineral paint. So I'm going to talk to you about the basics whilst I'm painting this piece behind in silk all in one mineral paint. So this piece, oh, she's a rough one. Oh, she is a rough one. She's put me through, she's put me through hours of pain, basically. Um, hours of pain. And I've only just finished prepping it and I started it absolutely ages ago. So the reason you can still eat bits of paint on here is because this was previously painted and somebody gave it to me and I really like the shape. It's very ornate. We don't get a huge amount of furniture like this in the UK. I mean, it is about, but it's it's not common. Um, so I just thought it'll be worth it. Um, I did question that several times during this um, stripping of this piece because, well, it was tough. <laughs> My hands were like this at the end of it. Um, so I have this morning cleaned it with Dixieville's White Lightning because there was quite a lot of chemicals used involved in stripping of this. And sometimes they can have oils and things that sit on the surface. So even if you have used a chemical stripper, um, I also rub meths on this because I believe the primer was Zinzabin, which boo, we don't. We don't talk about that. Um, so I rub some meths on this. Again, anything like that could have something in it which is going to sit on the top of your finish and basically resist your paint. So even if you're using a chemical stripper, even if you're taking it right back, then it is advised to still give it a good clean with Dixie Bell's White Lightning before you paint. So that's what I did. And that's what I did this morning, actually. So... <clears throat> Still calling one mineral paint. What is it? It's a it's a furniture paint, and it's an all-in-one furniture paint. And for me, I'm just going to turn this around because 
I'll paint this side panel with you today. So for me, the best thing about silk all-in-one mineral paint is that it has a built-in top coat. Now that should be enough to sell it to you because who, who actually likes top coating? Can we have a show of hands for anybody that actually enjoys top coating? I'm not gonna lie, I hate it. I absolutely hate it, unless it's wax, which is, why I don't, I don't put that in the same category. I, I enjoy applying wax and I love using coloured waxes, but top coating, no, it's not my friend. I don't like, I don't enjoy it. It can be tricky. It can especially be tricky over darker colours. Over lighter colours, you can also have issues. I just don't like it. However, it does need to be done in some cases. But that's where silk enters, enter silk. So for me, the best thing about silk is that you just, you don't have to top coat it and you really don't have to top coat it. It is very durable. So this is how durable it is. I have got a gate that is outside. I'm based in the UK. We have fairly harsh winters. We have, we're battered up here by the weather anyway, because I'm quite high up on a hill. And my garden gate has been painted in silk for three years. And it's almost perfect. I mean, it probably needs a wipe down because it's a bit grotty and grimy, like things do get outside when they're left. I also um, painted an outdoor chair, which I can see right there. I painted that last summer as part of a little promotion that I did. Um, and I painted that in black sands and she's perfect. And the dogs jump on it. The kids stand on it to shoot the netball in the thing. It's perfect. So when people say that it's not durable, that's a lie. It is very, very durable. So silk without an extra top coat is durable. You can still use a top coat. And here's where I'd use a top coat. If I am working on something that is going to have liquids put on it, or chemicals put on it, or hot and cold items put on it. So for me, that would be a vanity or a dressing table. So obviously you've got cosmetic products that have chemicals that can be quite harsh on pretty much any surface. So I would always put an extra top coat on that. Dining tables, I mean, if you're anything like my family, we we put our dining through the table through some, through some abuse. So hot, cold liquids, things spilled on it, kids trashing it, all the rest of it. Dining tables, I would add an extra top coat. Um, and coffee tables, things like that, maybe something where you're gonna be putting hot and cold items. So they're the only places that I would put an extra top coat and you can use any of the Dixie Belle clear coats or Gator Hide or their version of Gator Hide that comes with silk. Any is compatible. But nine times out of 10, I will not use an extra top coat with silk because it just doesn't need it. What's the point? What's the point of using an all-in-one paint and then top coating it? There isn't. So I don't. And it's 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 not necessary. I promise you it's not necessary. Um, so this is the colour that I'm going to use today. It's called conch if you're in the UK or if you're in the US, it's conch. There is two ways of saying that. My way is correct, okay? Um, no, I'm just I'm just kidding. Um, but I'm using I'm using pink today because these drawers are just screaming pink at me and it's been a while. I mean, I've got a slight addiction with painting things blue and green. If you follow me, you'll know. Um, so I thought I'd change it up, <laughs> paint something pink. So what prep do you need to do with silk? What you need to do, this is what silk looks like. Excuse the tub, I, I'm a bad, messy painter, especially with my tubs. Um, so the prep work that you need to do with silk is very similar to the prep work that you do with most furniture paints. Um, but what it does need is a scuff sand. So with chalk mineral paint and terra clay paint, scuff sanding, not always necessary because it has pretty good adhesion. Silk, you do need to give it something to grip onto. And that's the case with most all-in-one mineral paints like this. They do need a little bit of something to, to grip onto. So 
I am using this with a synthetic brush, but you can do anything with silk that you can do with chalk mineral paint. It lends itself very well to one colour, clean finishes, but that doesn't mean you can't do decorative things with it as well. Um, the reason I'm using silk on this piece is mainly because I specifically wanted this colour on this bedside, on this little cabinet, because I think it's going to... I think it's going to look really nice but also as well as the built-in top coat that silk has it also has something else built in and that is a built-in primer now the built-in primer is not to be confused with an adhesion primer so the built-in primer in silk is for blocking stains so if you know Dixie Bell products, you'll know that they do a product called Boss. And that is a primer that blocks stains. So in silk, there is a primer built into this, which is the equivalent to using one coat of Boss. So when they say it's an all-in-one, they really do mean an all-in-one. So this saves you, this paint saves you having to buy a separate stain blocking primer and a separate top coat so you just need this you just need to make sure that you clean your piece with Dixie Bell's white lightning to degrease it and scuff sand and if you hop over to my youtube channel I think there's a video in there or there's several videos in there about prep that tell you what scuff sand is scuff sanding does not mean taking something all the way back to bare wood you need something that is roughly anywhere between a 120 and a 220 grit paper is absolutely fine the dixie bell sanding sponges which i don't have here at the moment um although i should do because i just used one this morning um but the dixie bell sanding sponges which are on their website are absolutely fine if you are just hand sanding something small like this um this sort of size if you're doing something bigger um, and if you're doing it more frequently then that's when you might want to invest in an electric sander which is something that i use but obviously this is my job so that's why i've invested in an electric sander um but if you are just doing it as a one-off and you just want to buy a tub of paint and you want to paint one thing you don't need to go out and buy an electric sander you can scuff sand by hand and all you're looking to do is to create a haze on the surface so i can't show you on this because it's been chemically stripped so it's not it's not going to look the same um but if you have something that's got a previous finish on it like varnish and you scuff it up with sandpaper so you rub some sandpaper over it what you'll do is you'll create like a cloudy finish it won't be a nice shiny finish it will be slightly hazy and it'll sort of almost look like cloudy or hazy that's the best way to describe it that is what you are looking for and all that does is it breaks through that shiny finish and gives the paint something to grip onto so it does need that little bit extra prep but when you obviously you think i don't want to do it i don't want to sand if you save time just doing a little hand sand you will obviously sorry where you where you where you will have more you'll make you'll what am i trying to say so you'll spend a little bit more time at the front end of the project by giving it a scuff sand but then you don't have to top coat and you don't have to prime separately so a lot of people are put off by that sanding it's it's really not a big deal for most pieces nine times out of ten i can prep a piece in less than half an hour something relatively small obviously if it's a huge buffet or a sideboard or something it's going to take longer but a quick clean a scuff sand it doesn't have to take that long don't be put off by that step because you don't have to prime you don't have to top coat so it's gonna it actually saves you time painting in silk is quicker for me than painting in any other type of paint um and the reason that i'm stippling this on like this is because this piece although it's lovely and it's solid it's actually a little bit worse for wear and that is because she's been through a lot she's been through a lot with me and she was been she'd been through a lot before she got to me so um obviously it was painted it was primed then painted in a sort of dark blue and 
it wasn't the best paint job in the world um and i don't think it had been prepped very well before those things had happened so if I get something that's previously painted, I always strip it. I don't take many pieces on that previously painted because it takes so long to strip them back. Um, but like I say, I did really like this little piece. Um, but yeah, I'm stippling it on just because I do want to create a little bit of texture on the surface. So this paint is actually self-leveling. That means you apply it, leave it, and it will self-level on its own. However, you can encourage it to hold a little bit of texture if you stipple the surface. You can also use this with sea spray. If you wanted to create a chippy piece, it can be done. I have done it with silk. I did it on a little desk and it looked fabulous. Um, and I think, did I put it on my YouTube channel? I'm not entirely sure whether there is a video or not on my YouTube channel. There could be. I forget. I forget these things. Um, but it's it's possible to use any of the decorative accents and accessories that Dixie Belle carry with silk. So don't think that you can't be creative with silk. You can. You absolutely can. And um, my fellow brand ambassador, Jodie, from Decorous Vintage Designs, she uses silk quite often and she blends with it and she does rustic finishes and textured finishes and multicolored finishes. You don't just have to use it for a one color finish. Um, but if you are using it for a one color finish, then absolutely fine. It's, a very, it's quite a versatile paint. And if you are looking for something to paint kitchen cabinets, this is the one for you. It's very, very good for kitchen cabinets. I um, I actually worked with a local painter a couple of years ago now and painted a cabinet, um, some kitchen cabinets in a kitchen for a customer in um, the colour, I forget what colour it was actually, what colour was it? I can't remember, it was a neutral shade um, and you know me in neutrals, they... I don't usually work in neutrals, I like a bit of colour, um, but painting painting those cabinets in silk was an absolute dream. Um, it was, it was, yeah, it was a lovely paint. Customer was very pleased. So what else has silk got in it? Silk has got, as well as the built-in primer, as well as the built-in top coat, Silk has also got anti-mildew properties. So this will, if you've got any issues with outdoor furniture or indoor furniture that's got a little bit of mould on it or anything like that, it will keep that at bay. So um, sometimes when you paint outdoor furniture and it gets damp over winter, um, obviously you can get that kind of build up on there. This this doesn't do it. Doesn't it has that ingredient that repels it? I don't know the don't know the technical. It just has. Um, what else has it got? Let me think. Yeah, it's UV stable. Whatever that means. <laughs> no, that basically means that um, if it's something's in direct sunlight, it won't fade. Which quite often furniture paint can can do so again another reason that it's amazing for for outside because the piece that i painted out there that has got black sands on it hasn't faded the, it still looks i, I mean it, it could have been painted last week apart from the bird poo on it um <laughs> it could have been painted last week i mean that could be peacock poo i'm not gonna lie we get peacocks in our garden and it could it could be that um looks too small to be peacock poo but you catch my drift so it's 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 incredible paint it really is and I've also this is where I really did put it to the test I have painted my bathroom with it so we live in quite an old property it's always had issues in our bathroom with damp and mold always we have had the bathroom replastered we have completely gutted the bathroom 
we've put a whole new bathroom in it was very expensive still we're getting mold around the certain parts of it so i was like right silk's coming out silk's coming out and touch wood i've got a lot of wood here touch wood we haven't had mold reappearing so that anti-mildew thing that is in it pff, must work because it's very good so it is an absolutely cracking paint and you can see how well the cover it's covering so this is quite a light pale kind of pink pastely pink it's my absolute favorite pink it's, it's a very grown up pink it's very similar to t rose um in the chalk mineral paint line very similar but not the same um, but it is a nice grown up kind of dusky pink And that's just one coat on there. Super quick, super easy. And if you just wanted to paint something and walk away and it's done once it's dry, this is the paint for you. Like I say, you can see how well that's covered and the, the tone of the wood is quite dark. So standard with most water-based paints is that it's a 30 day cure time. And dry time and cure time is slightly different. So dry time is when you can physically put your hand on it and you don't get wet paint on your hand. That's dry time. Depending on your temperature, humidity, where you're working, normally between one and two hours and it's touch dry. Cure time is the time that you can use it as a piece of furniture, as a full piece of furniture, putting things on top, um, all those kind of things. And if you are selling your pieces, then if you're selling them before the 30 days is up, it's always advisable. I always tell my customers that it's freshly painted to avoid putting anything sharp or heavy on it. Make sure you put in placemats on it or put a piece of sort of something soft on the top just until it's cured. Um, <clears throat> but after the, that cure time, it is absolutely rock solid. And I want to show you something. Now, this is not Instagram ready by any stretch of the imagination. My workshop is, it's a workshop, okay? Um, <clears throat> we work in it. We work in it. Oh, also, I painted my outdoor wall. I thought, do you want to come and have a look? <laughs> it's not Insta ready, but I'll show you. I've got a clear passageway to outside. Hopefully it won't, the signal won't drop. So this is the outside of my, oh, I can't show you that. That has like very... Okay, so this outside wall, that is painted in one coat of black sands. Did a pretty good job, if I say so myself. That's straight over brick. Um, here's the chair. That is also black sands. There's the bird poo. Uh, netball, standard. So <clears throat> that is how tough silk is. I've done an outside wall. That was done two years ago now, two and a half years ago. So it is super durable. So I'll show you something else. <clears throat> Can you tell I like silk? You see that patch of paint there? That, the, pe the door frame, I hate the colour of these door frames. They're like fake oak, not the one. So that is... Baja grey straight over the top of a plastic so UVPC whatever it is UV UVPC is that the right phrase I don't know the door frames that it's not a solid it's not a wooden door frame I didn't clean it I didn't scuff sand it and I didn't use slick stick those things I would usually do if I'm painting that type of stuff and <clears throat> You can see it's got scratch marks on it because I scratched it after two days, after one week, after two weeks, after three weeks. I kept scratching it and after the 30 days, I couldn't scratch it anymore and it's absolutely bulletproof. I could take a screwdriver to that and it wouldn't come off it, and that has been painted. That was ages ago when we first got silk so that is how tough silk is and like i say it wasn't clean don't not clean your furniture and don't do the proper prep
but it was a, it was an experiment okay and that's why it was only a small patch that I painted because <clears throat> I wanted to see I wanted to see what it'd do so this color someone's just asked this color is conch or conch depending on where you are in the world <clears throat> and it's a dusky pink it's a very really pretty grown-up dusky blushy pink really nice this is one of three pinks in the silk range the other one is the other two sorry one's called prickly pear and that is a shocking hot pink it's fabulous and the other one is desert rose which is i'll just show you <clears throat> please hold I'm back. <clears throat> I just, I have to move the tripod every time because I've got stuff everywhere. So, Desert Rose is this one. And that is Prickly Pear. <laughs> that packs a right punch. That is an absolutely amazing colour. I love it. Um, and in comparison, I've got to be careful because I haven't got the lid on this. So this is the one I'm using. This is Conch, Desert Rose, Prickly Pear. So they're the three pinks in the range. You can see this one's obviously the, the most kind of blushiest, growing up, sort of like a nudie pink, very pretty. This one's more pink pink. And that one, that one, that one's about as subtle as I am. Um, but I love them all. I have pieces painted in them all on my social media platforms. If you want to go and see what they look like in better lighting than this, staged photos. Um, one of my pieces that was painted in desert, in well, it was painted in that, and then I put polka dots in conch. It was actually in HGTV magazine, so I'm semi-famous. I don't even know what HGTV magazine is. There's my dog's barking. Um, but I believe it's... Uh, quite a decent magazine over in the US. We don't have it here, never heard of it. Um, but my piece is in there. Um, so yeah, that's good. Um, so back to silk, what, I, what else have I got to tell you about silk? That's it really. It's, it's basically a can of little, a can of amazingness, a little can of amazingness, a little tub of amazingness, it's not a can, it's a tub. A little tub of amazingness. Um, and essentially this is gonna need two coats for full coverage, although it's covered outstandingly with one i'm going to be doing two coats of this all over and then i don't have to touch it no top coating if you want to add anything decorative you can you can add any of the dixie bell waxes over the top of silk it works absolutely fine you can add anything over the top your decoupage your transfers it works perfectly with silk i'm actually going to be using a brand new product on this and it's not something that I dabble with a huge amount, but it's the Dixie Bells shine on uh, the foils. Um, so I'm gonna be using that on this. And I will be doing a small YouTube video on it, which will be on the Dixie Bell YouTube channel at some point in the future when I've made it and edited it and sent it them. So it's not gonna be like tomorrow or anything, um, but that will be on there and I think that's it. Is that it? There's probably loads more that I could tell you about silk, um, but it, it truly is an amazing paint. Um, I also painted something in, so all, so I think you call them baseboards in America. Is that right? Baseboards, we call them skirting boards. So the things that run across the bottom of your wall, those, that white thing down there, we call them skirting boards. Um, obviously that's, you know, something that, the English people have, have tried to sound, we sound, po I try and sound posh, a skirting board. Um, so all of my skirting boards had to be replaced in this house and they were pe like pine, just pine ones, cheap pine ones. And I went straight in with silk in the colour salt water, straight over that knotty pine, worked a charm. No bleed through, no top coat in, perfect. So yeah, oh, 
one last thing. I, this is why I'm doing silk. <sighs> I'm such an idiot sometimes. So, <laughs> on over on Facebook, I admin the silk group on behalf of Dixie Bell. So it's a Dixie Bell group, but myself and Jodie, another brand ambassador, we admin that group on Facebook. I am going to drop a link in the comments because we've got a giveaway going at the minute for Dixie Bell products. And it's basically, you will get $50 worth of Dixie Bell credit applied to the website under your account and you can spend it however you wish. You don't have to spend it on silk. You can spend it on anything on the Dixie Bell website that you want. And that giveaway is running in the silk group. So <clears throat> if you aren't in the silk group, what you need to do is go and find it on Facebook or wait for me to upload it in the comments and then click the link and go and find it. Join the group, join in the giveaway and you'll be in with a chance of winning some Dixie Bell stuff. And like I say, you can just choose whatever you want. If you want transfers, if you want decoupage paper, if you want silk, if you want chalk mineral paint, if you want to try Terra, all of the paint is available in four ounce sizes as well. So if there is something that you've been dying to try, but you just haven't got there yet, this giveaway is the perfect chance for you to add loads and loads of those four ounces in your basket and try some new stuff. So I will drop the link in the comments once the video is ended. Go and join the Facebook group, enter the giveaway. All you've got to do is tag people. you just got to tag your friends who you want to join in the competition. The more people you tag, the higher the chance of you winning, basically. So if you tag one person, you've got one chance of winning. If you tag 10 people, you've got 10 chances of winning. You've got to be in it to win it. It's a numbers game. You've got to be in it to win it. So that's what I wanted to come on and tell you about. That's why I'm painting in silk, because we've got that giveaway running over on the silk page and sorry the silk group not the silk page and i'll pop the link in the comments down here for you to take you directly to that group so i hope that was helpful i hope that wasn't too jumbled i hope i didn't lose connection when i went outside i showed you my um bird poo chair um and that's it so next week i'll be back same time something different um thank you for watching have a lovely day catch you next week bye